What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank. This is another episode of Roadie Reactions, and not gonna lie, I'm kind of a wreck right now because right now we're live on Twitch, if you can't see by the number up here, and we have been listening to the entire brand new Lorna Shore album, Pain Remains, in its entirety. And as luck would have it, the last song on the album is Pain Remains 3, the last one that I haven't filmed a reaction to that there's a music video for, so we're doing it right now with everybody on Twitch. And I already did this with part one and cried in front of a lot of people. And I imagine it's probably going to happen today. But as I'm sure most everybody's aware, Lorna Shore's brand new album, Pain Remains, officially released this past Friday, October 14th, 2022 from Century Media Records. It is already getting rave reviews, like mad crazy positive reviews from everybody. People are saying this is album of the year. It's an absolute masterpiece. So far from the nine previous songs I've heard, I'd give it all 10 out of 10. There's nothing on this album I would not skip and that doesn't happen too often. So I'm excited to finally check out the last part of the Pain Remains trilogy. Now, as we've talked in other videos, Lorna Shore is about to head out on a huge North American headlining tour in a few days from now. And it is now completely sold out. That is super impressive, not just for a deathcore band, but in general, man, bands really aren't selling out tours well in advance anymore. So this is super cool, but I'm going to be at the show in Nashville on the 26th. I hope to see a lot of you guys there. If you didn't get tickets to see them this time around, wherever you are, be on the lookout next time. Cause these guys have really nowhere to go, but up at the current point in time. But Let's finally round this out, man. I will link this original video in the description below. And today I'm once again listening to Lorna Shore and for the very first time checking out their brand new music video for their song, Pain Remains 3 in a Sea of Fire. Let's go. Twitch, we ready? Pain Remains Part 3. Let's go. God, the orchestration on this album has been so good.
really quick, I know in the other ones we didn't really pause because I just wanted to let it go, but there are a couple of things that I just really want to point out and stuff that we've talked about on Twitch earlier. And the first thing that I want to point out, we had a long discussion about this on Twitch a little while ago, but the actor that they have in this video that is just... The acting job itself is what leads to a lot of the emotion with a lot of this. Like in part one, in the beginning when he just had that blank stare, like that acting, I mean, it makes you feel that pain in the video. Like I, I want to find out who this is. I feel like, I mean, I, I should have talked about this more before because I noticed it before and I didn't, but the actor in these videos has done such a good job at portraying this emotion and this hopelessness and helplessness. And it like really pulls you in and makes you feel it. Musically, this one is a lot more chaotic than the first two, but I think there's a reason for that. It's the overall feel for the song. And I like how we progress from part one, two, and three to rain, snow, and now fire. But I mean, it's in the name of the song, so you'd expect it, but this has been a wild journey so far, man, and there's still six minutes left of this, so I'm curious to see how this is going to go. never gives himself a break on solos. Oh, that snare work is so good. Oh my god. God, the melody in this is so fucking good. This is such a cool change musically. Not gonna make it through this one either.
That just broke me. I am so f***ing impressed that a band, not just a deathcore band, just a, just a band in general, was, a, was able to do something like this. To make a trilogy like this with, you know, my good eye visuals that elicited such emotion and such feeling and such storytelling this is, it's fucking incredible, dude. Um, yeah, man, I'm going to think about it for a second and then we'll, we'll go talk more about it. All right. We've finished the pain remains trilogy. And I mean, that was an adventure. I mean, it was an absolutely emotional trip, man. And I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard sitting here in the moment and finding the words and everything that I want to say about this, but I just, again, I find it so incredible that a band was able to deliver something like this. And we're actually just talking in the Twitch chat. I'm loving this album for the same reason that I liked Kin by Whitechapel. There's such personal, emotional storytelling going on that you can really hear the pain and hear the hopelessness. And there are parts that you can emotionally connect to yourself and more so than anything on this album, the, the trilogy did that to me because, as I said in part one, everybody has a loved one that they, you know, would hate to lose and don't know how they'd react if they lost. And watching this video, for me, I was able to put myself in that actor's shoes. And, like, you know, it, it, what if it were my wife that I was going through like that? And it's like, those are the feelings that I feel when I watch something like this. And you know, I'll be... A hundred percent honest, man. If it wasn't for our daughter, I don't know if I would be too far off from acting like this. If I lost my wife, I, I, I really don't. Um, it's such an emotional, personal thing that everybody can relate their own emotions and experiences to. And I just, this is just, it's amazing, dude. It's amazing. This whole album from start to finish, we just listened to it on Twitch. It's remarkable it's it's remarkable i don't often feel this way about music when it's delivered it's just i don't know man it's hard to sit here and get all my thoughts out but everything from just the musicality the songwriting the actual talent of the band members the production on it it's absolutely remarkable and I guess I'll just leave it at that. If you haven't listened to the entire thing yet, you're doing yourself a disservice. I would highly recommend going and listening to Pain Remains in its entirety. Don't just listen to a song or two. Listen to the whole thing from start to finish, and it is a wild trip. And considering the backstory of everything that Will talked about, the concept of the album, it is unreal, dude. So definitely dig into the concept before you listen to it. I think it'll give you a whole different perspective on what's going on and... I can't wait to see where where these guys go, man. Uh, right now, this is 
I, I could probably say this is going to be my album of the year right now. If not, it it's going to be in the top two. But I would say this is probably album of the year for me. I cannot wait to see these guys live in about a week from now, October 26th. They'll be in Nashville on the Pain Remains Tour. If you're going to be at that stop, keep an eye out. I'd love to meet some of you guys. And again, that tour is sold out. They sold out the whole thing before it even started, man, which is a wild thing. So this was a wild trip, man. I'm glad that I did a couple of these on Twitch with everybody. I'm glad that everybody spent some time here. Thank you guys for being here. But uh, I got nothing else. I think I'm just going to wrap it up here. I mean, I enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe. I've got new videos all the time. Reactions, music industry stuff, interviews, podcasts, ton of different stuff. If you liked the video, you can give it a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. But most importantly, thank you for taking your time to watch it. I'm on a ton of different social media. I have a Discord server. I have a Twitch that we're streaming on now. So if you're interested in joining us on any of those, I'll throw links in the description. My handle on everything social media is at Tank the Tech. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.